the elbow joint. The elbow joint is a synovial joint. It is found at the junction between the arm and the forearm. This is the anterior view and the posterior view. The elbow joint is formed with three articulations. Number one, between the humerus and the ulna. Two, the humerus and the radius. And three, the radius and the ulna. Let us look more closely at the elbow joint and the articulation between the humerus and the ulna. This is formed between the distal humerus and the proximal ulna. It is a uniaxial hinge joint. It permits extension and flexion. This is a diagram or photograph of the distal humerus. Highlighted in pink is the trochlea of the distal humerus. The distal humerus articulates with the proximal ulna. It articulates with the coronoid process of the proximal ulna anteriorly. And this articulates with the coronoid fossa on the anterior aspect of the distal humerus. This is a posterior view of the distal humerus. Highlighted in pink is the trochlea. This is the olecranon fossa of the posterior aspect of the distal humerus. The olecranon fossa articulates with the olecranon process of the proximal ulna. The second articulation of the elbow joint is between the humerus and the radius. Highlighted in pink is the capitulum of the distal humerus. This articulates with the head of the proximal radius. This articulation permits rotation of the radius about the ulna, which is known as supination. and pronation. On the left hand side is supination where the radius and ulna lie almost parallel and on the right picture is pronation where the radius moves over the ulna. The upper image shows supination and the lower image shows pronation with the radius coming to lie over the ulna. Ligaments of the elbow joint. This is a photograph of the medial aspect of the elbow joint. It is immediately surrounded by a capsule. The medial ligament or ulnar collateral ligament has three components. Firstly is the anterior band. The anterior band runs from the medial epicondyle of the humerus to the coronoid process on the ulna. The posterior band is from the sublime tubercle on the coronoid to the medial border of the olecranon. The middle band is deeper and it connects the other two bands. This is a photograph of the lateral aspect of the elbow joint. Immediately surrounding the bones is the capsule. The lateral ligament or radial collateral ligament consists of the annular ligament which attaches to the margins of the radial notch on the ulna and it surrounds the entire radial head and neck. The lateral ligament is from the lateral epicondyle on the distal humerus which fuses with the annular ligament.